Welcome back to Spore and Sprout. In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my mushroom grow tent so I can grow any mushrooms I want at a large scale. I'm using the 10 by 10 foot Vivor grow tent, which I'll leave a link for in the description. Once you get the grow tent, just set it up using the instructions and preferably on a cement floor. It's easier to start by placing the bottom of the grow tent on first and then wrapping the top of the grow tent around the back side of the pole structure. To grow perfect looking mushrooms, the grow tent will need three different components. To provide fresh air exchange, I use the AC Infinity inline fan here that's connected to a long ducting and at the end of that ducting, there's some pillow stuffing in between two vent covers. I also use this LED light rope that provides direction for the mushrooms to grow in. And if we come around to the back side of the grow tent, I have this 6 inch AC Infinity exhaust fan connected to ducting that one side goes out and one side goes all the way into the bottom of the grow tent to expel the CO2. It's connected to an outlet timer that will force it to run every hour for 15 minutes. And on the other side, there's a humidistat controller with a timer that will turn on the inline fan and the humidifier every hour for 15 minutes. This is the homemade humidifier that I have a video about making with just a couple slight modifications like this long tube that shoots the humidity out. I'll leave a link in the description so you can watch that video tutorial and learn how to make your own homemade ultrasonic humidifying system. So the inline fan will bring filtered air in through the humidifying tote and into the grow tent. While this exhaust fan ducting will expel all the CO2 and the stale air at the bottom of the grow tent. The humidity system isn't connected to a water line, so I just top it off with some water every couple weeks. The grow tent can get pretty dirty after a few months, so definitely make sure to keep up on the cleaning schedule and clean it every few weeks. And that's basically all of the components you need to know about in order to make your own mushroom grow tent. As for the temperature in the grow tent, I like to keep it around 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit for most species. The building I set this grow tent up in stays at perfect temperature throughout the summer and then when winter comes around I'll have to use a propane heat source or a space heater in the room. So in the winter to make up for the expensive propane use I'll make sure to pack the grow tent full so that it's worth it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful if you're trying to set up your own mushroom grow tent. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one.